and no, inner tubers. Welcome to part two of Should You Move In? Here we go with the rest of the questions. Number seven. You have vacation together, right? Vacation is a wonderful opportunity to see just how well you make decisions when you're not in your comfortable space. Number eight. You're a hundred percent ready to sacrifice a little bit of your independence, particularly if you've been by yourself for a while and you know how to ask for and give private time. We all need private time. Every fucking one of us needs a little time to ourselves. And speaking of private time, that's that two bathrooms thing I was talking about. If you two have to share a bathroom sink and a bathroom counter, are you ready to do it in the most respectful and kind way possible? Alrighty, then let's get this going. Number nine. Your lifestyles are already pretty compatible. You have one exercise freak and one lazy ass? That might not work so well. You have one person who likes to stay out late and party a lot, and the other person is the early morning riser to go to the gym? That might be difficult too. I mean, all these things are ready for compromise. Number 10, very, very important. Do you communicate openly, honestly, and fairly? No hidden agenda? No dirty tricks, no bringing up old shit. If you have something on your mind, are you able to bring it up? Make sure that you are not disrespectful and selfish when you want to communicate. Number 11, I cannot stress this enough. Be 100% you. No fake, no fraud, no bait and switch, no putting on your best behavior, no secrets that you hope nobody finds out. Be 100% you and 100% truthful. If you're not comfortable being 100% you around your partner, don't move in together. Number 12, do you have a contingency plan should it all go to shit? Do you have enough money saved, put aside, so that if you need to move out, you can? Do you have a way to separate the things that you've purchased together? This is so important. Don't get a pet together if you can't afford to give up custody of the pet. Just saying. That's it, everybody. We came to the end of the 12 points. So remember to go over this with your partner, just like I said in the other video. This is something that you discuss. This is something that you trust each other with. Happy dating. And if you move in, happy snuggling. Granny loves you. That's it for this episode on the inner tube. Share and comment, and then be sure to click the subscribe arrow right in the middle. And you can go straight to two more videos by clicking the windows on the top. How cool is that? Share my potty mouth shenanigans everywhere. Granny loves you.